yeah, yeah, yeah. Damaged. One man's trash is another man's baggage. Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere. Space suit on, can't breathe this air. TNT going off in here. Ain't we up there? Cause you always want to touch me. My phones are leaving. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony if you are new here. And in today's video, I'm pretty much going to be cleaning up my candle studio. I have so much I need to get done. I need to do laundry. I need to uh, go ahead and uh, start on my Be My collection, which will be dropping February 1st. And make sure you look out for those emails because I'm gonna do like a pre-order as well. I'm pretty much just gonna be doing some daily task around the house. I'm gonna be doing some laundry. Um, I gotta cook for my family, which I already started dinner actually. And then um, I'm gonna be heading down to my candle studio and I'm gonna be cleaning it up. So once I clean up, then I'm gonna be starting on like packing some orders and then, you know, then start on the Be My collection. But yeah, that's pretty much, you know, what I'm doing today, just doing daily tasks and whatnot. I did ask you guys uh, on my poll or whatever, if you don't mind me doing some home decor over here on this channel. And I do have another channel, but I'm really thinking about just, you know, doing away with it, you guys, because it is really hard for me to keep up with both channels. And I want to get you, I want you guys to get to know me better, you know, Ebony. My middle name is um, LaMaysha, so that's why, you know, I say Ebony LaMay because it is my name. But um, I do want you guys to get to know me. A little better you know and everything about me is definitely I feel like it goes with this channel a lot more you know um, my home decor and my home my candles go with my home decor my aesthetic on like everything I do in my home is literally designed around my candle business you know because when I came up with the concept of my candle business, it's like it was for my love of home decor and why I wanted my candles to be part of home decor. So I feel like it is in tune with me, it goes with me, it flows with everything I'm doing here on my channel. Also, you know, it is my life and my name is Life with LeMay, you know. Also, the military is going to be moving us and PCS us soon. So me and my husband will be buying a new house, hopefully it's in a state that we see ourselves retiring <laughs> because we will be buying a house i'll be bringing you guys along with me building my new candle studio i would love to have two candle studios one for like at home and then one for like outside of the house you know on days where i just need to you know uh get out the house and you know you know how it is mom life you just want that time away from your kids <laughs> my goal here on this channel is just to inspire the everyday mom that's going after what she wants to go after you know what i'm saying whether it's you know in business you know in life i hope that i inspire somebody that you can definitely balance everything in life when it comes to your kids and your husband and your business and stuff because that's literally what i try to do here you know um i'm I guess you can uh, can consider myself a stay-at-home mom, but I'm also a working mom because I run my business from home, you know, while raising um, my boys. So, which is, you know, a blessing to me that I'm able to do that. I don't have to really worry about anything. My husband takes care of everything. And I feel like just because I'm a mom, <laughs> I can't have my own business, you know what I'm saying? Which, like I said, I'm very grateful that Luxurious Ambiance is doing this thing, you know? I feel like she took over. Luxurious Ambiance has a mind of its own, you know? Like, cause I am so thankful that how I grew, and I know not everybody, you know, grows like that, but I am so thankful, literally, for all the customers 
that you know support luxurious mommy on and i'm so thankful for all of you guys that watch my videos and watch you know my candle making videos and content and stuff so just know that my candle studio vlogs are definitely going to be here to stay i'm also going to throw in some home decor you know weekly you know vlogs and stuff um just want to give you guys a little bit more of who i am and i hope that you guys enjoy you know all of my content but um but yeah i'm just gonna stop all my rambling and um just go ahead and get started on today all right so today is a busy day for me so i'm going to be cooking pot roast and um mashed potatoes and asparagus so yeah for busy days like this pot roast is like my go-to meal to you know make for my family so yeah and now I'm gonna head downstairs and clean my messy studio. It is snowing again. It's really pretty when the snow is falling. But other than that, I don't like it. Alright y'all, so this is what my candle studio is um, looking like. It's looking a hot. And when I say a hey, hot, diggy dog mess, okay? Um, yeah, I'm about to get everything all situated and cleaned up so that way I can start, um, you know, just organizing, cleaning, and uh, decluttering my candle studio space. So, yeah, let's just get to it. To help me get motivated, I will be putting on my best friend Ryan Michelle. She has a cleaning channel and uh, she definitely gets me up and going and motivated. And I just clicked on her video she uh, uploaded not too long ago. And it's a long one, so uh, yeah. But if you guys don't know who Ryan is, I will definitely leave her link down below in my description box. Let me know down below if you are a fellow candle maker or if you just have an office in general. Does your office get like this? I feel like it's called like creative chaos, you know, when I'm packing orders or making labels and everything like that, like paper and stuff just magically just get on the floor. <laughs> but let me know if your space sometimes looks like this when you're like in a creative like state of, you know, chaos. Don't be shy, So I always like to know who is still here and watching so um, leave your girl down a pink heart emoji if you have made it this far into today's video. And it seems like you feel the same, could have had everything but you had to go and mess it all up, whatever you want me to do, yeah you know that I... 
so my husband got me a Cricut machine for Christmas and I am so excited and happy about it you know um it's definitely going to come in handy when i'm making my labels my waterproof labels for my um hand soaps that i'll be offering soon so that's like one of the main reasons why i wanted a cricket um machine because i i try to find a way that i could just make the hand soaps like labels without getting a cricket machine but when he bought it for me for christmas i was like oh thank you so much for this machine <laughs> but um i'm still gonna be making my labels my candle labels the way i've been doing them like by hand and then um but yeah i mean i, I mean i'm happy i'm happy that i finally got a cricket machine i just feel like it wasn't necessary at that point you know to get one but uh but yeah i'm so grateful i have one now keep on making me now I'm just gonna be cutting up my coconut apricot cream wax so I get questions all times like even like DMs you know what kind of wax do I use and I use the coconut cream wax sometimes if they don't have coconut apricot and you know stock for me to get you know I'll go ahead and I get the coconut soy because to me they perform you know the exact same so yeah but I like to cut my wax up in my container right here just because it just makes it a lot you know a lot easier for me to um you know deal with and then put it into my fresh tech pot so yeah that's what i am doing here subscriber of mine her name is uh eve and she asked me um could i do like a video of like my favorite candle wicks and only have three honestly <laughs> like seriously i've done um so much you know wick testing but the three that i gravitate to the most and that showed me the most love and like you know um good progress like with my candles is the whisper booster wicks and it's the 0 0.02 ones and they are 75 um inches and then i also have the tube wicks for my spa day collection and um then i have the crackling uh booster wicks the 0 0.03 ones so that i use in like my signature uh collection you know candles but those three wigs are the three wigs that i love working with 
the most they show me the most like consistency when it comes to wooden wicks i know a lot of people you know say that wooden wicks are inconsistent but i think sometimes with the wooden wicks is like the formula has to be like spot on from the time that you you know was doing like your testing and i think i hit like a sweet spot with that so i'm really um loving you know wooden wicks i have nothing against cotton wicks honestly um just for me and my aesthetic i in the comfort you know i just love the sound that a wooden wicks you know a wooden wick makes when you're burning it it's so cozy and inviting so yeah that's why i like wooden wicks all right studio is put back together so um, now I can just go ahead and get started on my uh, Be Mine collection. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pack some more. I'm going to go ahead and pack these orders. I have um, three to pack. No, four. I have four to pack. Or is it three? I don't know. Well, I got one on, my web on this website right here. I don't know if I ever told you guys. This is called Spousely. And Spousely is just like Etsy, but it's for military spouses and, you know, veterans. And uh, it's like you're, you know, supporting fellow military families. So I'm going to go ahead and pack the order on my Spousely uh, website. And then I got orders. Then I have... Um, then I have two orders. Okay, yeah, two. Then I have two orders to pack right here. So one on Spousely, one on my actual website. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pack these orders, and then I'll start on my um, Valentine's Day collection. If you guys enjoy watching me pack orders, you already know what to do. Leave your girl down a packing box emoji. And I get a lot of questions on where my packing tape is from and where I get my uh, pink dispenser from. So the packing tape, I get it from stickermule.com. And then my pink dispenser, I bought it off Amazon. And I will definitely leave both of them linked down below in my description box. So I do want to talk about um, some questions that I've been getting like lately. Um, how did I grow my business and and all that stuff? Honestly, you guys, I just try to stay consistent in my own lane. I don't really pay attention to uh, 
other people like around me that are doing like the same thing that I'm doing because I feel like sometimes if we do that compare ourselves to other people that's in the same you know um, niche or uh, business as you know yourself uh, then you often you know start comparing and honestly everybody has their season everybody has their time when they grow and things just start to happen for them and um I really don't have a specific answer for that I just feel like if you stay in your own lane and you do what you're supposed to be doing and don't compare yourself to others then I think you know it, you know you'll start to grow and I literally like film everything I keep myself like on a content like schedule especially like on my Instagram I feel like the rails have definitely been helping me with my business getting it out there more and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i haven't done any markets i haven't done any like trade show markets you know when some people say you have to do markets in order to grow your business yeah i feel like that's part of it but i feel like social media is like in a mind of its own you know and i'm gonna be very transparent with you guys i know social media um isn't the end all be all you know and a lot of people you know go in a frantic when like instagram is like shutting down or whatever but i feel like the email list that you build for your website those are your loyal customers as well and right now on my customer you know list i have 400 you know subscribers to me that's you know amazing you know so i feel like if social media did you know just go off the handles one day I'll be able to still communicate with my um, you know my customers so I say build your email list of course and build on social media because it's other people that you know come in contact with your brand and they don't know who you are and then they see you on Instagram so um, but eventually I would definitely get myself out there and do more markets and shows and stuff as I told you guys before I am a um, military spouse so sometimes I can't move like a certain way how some people do I have to do what's best for Ebony you know and that's how I look at it I run luxurious ambiance how I feel like it's working for right now working for me right now but um eventually I'll get myself out there and I'll do some market shows but right now me just you know um, sharing my experience with you guys here on my channel and growing on Instagram has been doing uh, my business you know very well also have friends that promote me you know and I think that's key as well you know get you some core friends you know that love you and your business and want to see you thrive and speak life into you and your business I think that's very important as well so and send them to them you know tell them hey can you support me you know I'm mean, not support me can you um promote my stuff for me I mean but a real friend just knows how to you know promote anyways but that's pretty much you know what I do guys I don't do anything special I do tons and tons of research um but yeah that's pretty much uh my gist of everything just be you be yourself in your business put yourself into your business and just let it just start doing this thing you know yeah 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 damaged one man's trash is another man's baggage Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere. Space suit on, can't breathe this air. TNT going off in here. Ain't we up there? Cause you always wanna touch me. My phones will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm always leaving. Believe me. Cause you always wanna touch me. My phones will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm okay so now that I've done packed all of my orders I'm gonna be starting on some sample tins and these are going to be the sample tins for my be mine collection I won't be making a ton of these because it is a limited edition so yeah but I will be making a few of them Pound for pound. promise I'll let you down One more round Don't step on my rose 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 
situations left you lonely Try to give you my best shot But my best don't mean a lot Bullseye always miss, that's why It's all I got Cause you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me Because you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding that's why I'm always leaving Believe me, believe me oh, One more shot, one more round Take my hands, pound for pound Promise I'll let you down So if you guys are still here and enjoying today's video, you guys already know what to do. Leave your girl down a candle emoji. Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turn into morning too. that's pretty much it for today's video you guys um like i said we were about to go eat dinner so uh i pretty much got everything done taken care of situated and whatnot um but yeah 
the next video you guys are definitely going to see my be my collection and uh just a lot more other things and stuff i pretty much just had to go ahead and stop the video <laughs> because i need to take care of dinner you know and get things situated for my family but as always blessings to you all and i will talk to you in my next video